When Roe versus Wade was overturned, a number of states had abortion bans ready to take effect. Trigger laws in 13 states banned abortion immediately or soon after Roe was repealed, meaning the federal ruling triggers a state law banning abortion to go into effect. Some states are already seeing legal challenges to their trigger laws, and there are more lawsuits likely to follow. No one here is pro-death, and no one here is pro-abortion. The difference is pro-choice and pro-life. Lila, you, you say some things in the predicate of your positions that life begins at fertilization, that science is very clear about that. And you, you have to know science isn't, there, there's no consensus among the scientific community. There is, that, Dr. Phil, 96% no, of scientists not. say that I, life begins at fertilization. If no, you're an in vitro specialist, well, no, you're let, looking to create let me, let me a single cell embryo, and then you know you have a new human life. So it, it is a scientific fact. Well, actually, it's not. Well, when do you when do you say human life begins then? There's well, it's, it doesn't matter what I think. I, I I don't care what I think. What I'm saying is well, the scientific is community does not have a consensus about when life begins. It's simply and that inaccurate. Is, You're sim it's simply inaccurate. That's not true. You can go to the body. A single of, cell embryo is a unique new human life. You can go to the body of scientific literature and you can find neuroscientists who say that it begins when there is a detectable brain wave. But Dr. Phil, in to... an abortion, if it's not a human life, why do you have to kill it? I haven't spoken over you and you keep speaking over me and I assume that's because you don't want me to finish my thought, which is if Anyone here wants to fact check me instead of speak over me, you can go to the scientific literature and query what the definition is of the beginning of life and you will find that there are different definitions. And it's up to you to decide what you think, but there is not a consensus among the scientific community and it has actually evolved across time. Before we had sonograms, uh, it was a black box what was going on in there. Then when we got to the point we had sonograms and we could see, oh, you can detect a heartbeat. Okay, now, uh, up until then, it was referred to as quickening, uh, when you could feel the kick. Uh, that was the beginning of life. And then we got better technology, and then uh, it started to change. But you say it's at fertilization, but at fertilization, there actually hasn't been implantation. And then once there's implantation, then it, this is a process. And it's, all I'm saying is there's not a consensus. And you're saying there is, and that's factually inaccurate. We can we can agree to disagree, but I will say, you know, when I was but pregnant... But the literature with, doesn't disagree. Well, we can... I, we should look it up. It's 96% of scientists have agreed when surveyed. But regardless of that point, I think the question is, you know, we know deep down when you're pregnant, there's a new human life. You know, that's why it's so devastating for Nancy. Our miscarriage was so devastating. We all know that deep down. These are these are human beings. That's why it's so contentious. Mm. And listen, we, do we acknowledge that all humans have human rights? Because I think what your your question well, is I, about I, is I about personhood. I agree with a lot of your points. I'm just I, saying it comes down to when that life begins. But and I, that, I don't that's think Nancy saying. or others here are okay, not human beings. Like, the real yeah. argument we hear we're having is about choice and a person's right to choose what is best for them. What is best for them regarding family planning. What is best for them regarding their bodies and their ownership. And when we are listening to this debate, we're constantly getting it back to about who's deciding what. If you determine for yourself that's when life begins, that is fine for you. But someone else may determine something completely different. And this is where, from a pro-choice standpoint, we're saying it is not for us to decide for anyone what they believe, how they believe, but they, they have options. So I think we need to really pay attention to what pro-choice is really arguing and what we're really talking about. It's about truly, if we are giving people the right to choose, we're allowing them to make the best decisions for themselves, for their bodies, and for their family. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.